So about three years ago, I bought this mechanical Razer Black Widow, which I use nearly every day for about two years up until I bought my current keyboard, the Logitech G915 TKL. I never bothered to clean it after those first two years of use, and ever since then this thing's been sitting in my closet collecting even more dust, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to make a video on how to clean a mechanical keyboard, so here's what you'll need. You will need rubbing alcohol, I'm using 91%, q-tips, a microfiber cloth, a bowl to put the keycaps in, something to remove the keycaps from the keyboard. You'll also need some warm soap and water and a soft brush to clean the keycaps. And if you have it, you can use some compressed air to help blow out some of the excess dust in the frame. And I'll show you guys how to do that here in just a little bit. So first things first, we need to remove the keycaps themselves. I'm using a little plastic keycap removal tool. A lot of new keyboards come with these tools in the box, but if you don't have one, you can pick one up on Amazon for less than $5. So I would certainly recommend picking one of these up if you don't have one, as these will help to prevent damage to your keycaps and your mechanical switches. So to remove your keycaps, simply take the tool and press down vertically until you can feel the tool, clip onto the bottom of your keycap, and then just simply Give it a nice little tug upwards until the cap comes off, and then you can set it into your bowl so you can clean them later. Now, you'll notice on some of the larger keys like the spacebar, there should be a little metal hinge that holds the key onto the keyboard. These are super easy to remove. All you want to do is just pull up on the key and simultaneously slide the key sideways in either direction until you feel it pop off the hinge, and then slide it in the opposite direction to pull the key off completely. This can be a bit intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. All right, once you get all your keycaps removed, we're gonna go and wash them all individually with some warm, soapy water. And I'm choosing to use a small paintbrush here to clean the caps and make sure I get all the nooks and crannies of the inside of the keycaps. So I started this process by pouring a little bit of Dawn dish soap on top of the keys and then pouring some hot water on top of them and letting them sit for about five to 10 minutes before I started cleaning them with the paintbrush just to let the dirt break up and let that Dawn dish soap work on the oil and grease from your fingers. After you let them sit, you can use a paintbrush and that same soapy water to clean each key individually. Again, it's very important to use a soft bristle brush here as you don't want to scratch your beautiful keycaps. And after you clean them, you can set them off to the side on a towel to dry. I think it took me around 15 minutes to clean all of these keycaps, so it's not exactly a quick process, but now that they're all finished, we can go ahead and work on cleaning the frame while these dry. So to start cleaning the frame, we're going to use some compressed air to blow off some of those big chunks of debris inside of the frame. Now ideally you would use some of that canned compressed air that you can get at like Walmart, but I'm using an air compressor set at a very low PSI as to not damage the switches or anything else on the keyboard. And I gotta say after doing just this single step, this keyboard already looks way better. Next up, we're going to use those Q-tips with some alcohol to clean off the inside of the keyboard where the rest of that dirt is at. To do this, you can take your Q-tip, dip it in alcohol, and then rub it on a microfiber towel to remove any excess alcohol, and then just start going to town cleaning in those little individual spaces between the mechanical switches. Again, you don't want your Q-tips to be soaking wet as you could damage the electronics inside of your keyboard. So rolling it on a microfiber towel will help to remove any of that excess alcohol. I will warn you, this step is pretty tedious and it does take quite a long time to get it perfect, but just take your time and go slow. Maybe throw on some music if you have to. And I promise the more effort you put into this now, the better your keyboard's gonna look when it's done. Now, once you complete that step, you can go ahead and take some alcohol and a microfiber towel and clean off the rest of the frame of the keyboard, making sure to get every area that you haven't already cleaned. 
All right, and now we can reinstall our keycaps. This process is super easy. All you have to do is just set the keycap on top of its respective switch and just firmly press downwards. And as for the larger keys that have those metal hinges, it's the complete opposite of taking them off. You start with putting one side of the keycap onto the hinge and then sliding it all the way over and pressing downwards. That will reseat the keycap onto its hinge and then you just firmly press downwards just like a regular keycap and that will reinstall those larger keycaps. And now that that step is complete, we can give the keyboard one last wipe down with a microfiber towel to remove any dust that got kicked up when you were reinstalling the keycaps. And with that being said, the keyboard is now complete and nice and clean. I can show you guys a shot of it with the RGB LEDs on here as well. This is what it looks like. Gotta say this looks absolutely amazing. It's a super simple process, but it does take about 30 minutes if you do it the right way. So it is a bit time consuming and it is certainly a monotonous task, but just go slow and take your time and I promise the final outcome will be worth your effort that you put into cleaning your keyboard. And with that, that is all I have for you guys today. If you guys want more tutorials like this, leave a like and subscribe and I will surely make more of these in the near future. And uh, with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.